And we're talking wine on this Monday morning because it's kind of been tough to get back into the swing of things right after a long break. And did you know that any day is better with wine, right? We all knew that. But what about winter and wine? And how can you have the better glass of wine when you're serving, when you're drinking? We are getting all the details this morning. Uh, you are here with us. Uh, Nigel Avery is from Cellini Estates Wines. And you are an expert at this, which I love this idea because when I think of wine, I don't really know what I'm looking for. I don't really know how to make that experience better. So you're going to help us kind of up our ante in 2016. There right? we go. Yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah. we're going to do that. First, though, before we get to the wine, I got to get to your backstory. You were, correct me if I'm wrong, a weightlifter? I was. I and was. now you are a wine expert. Yeah. How did that well, happen? <laughs> two things. So I was a weightlifter. Uh -huh. um, so the Celine's a family business. Mum and Dad started it, and they've asked me to kind of help okay. out, really. Um, but I'm not an expert. I know more than, more than most, but not as much as many. <laughs> okay. But I guess the most important thing is you are and should be your own expert. Okay. So what I like may be totally different to you. We've all got different taste preferences and profiles. And so, you know, who knows? And that's what's kind of fun about wine. There's so Absolutely. many options out there, and a lot of them taste different. So it's kind of fun to try different things. Absolutely, and particularly with food as well. Like Cellini's, a, we, we say, you know, we are wine that loves company. We, and personal company, or more particularly with food. Sure. And so food has an amazing influence on, on how a wine can taste, you know, positive or negative. So what do you have for us here? You brought a lot of different things here this morning. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a long segment. I hope we'll get, yeah. we'll get through <laughs> Let's it. Let's get right so to it. So I guess the, the key variety for us and for New Zealand is Sauvignon Blanc. This mm -hmm. one's quite unique. It's got a blend of uh, Hawke's Bay Semillon, which I don't know if you've tried much Sauvignon Blanc before from nope. Marlborough. Nope. It's a famous area, but it can be very aggressive in style. So the Semillon kind of helps to kind of round it off to tone it down a bit. Okay. And makes it an amazing food-friendly wine. And you mentioned, you know, winter drinking. I mean, this is classically a, a summer drink for sure, citrus, vibrant flavors. But mm -hmm. for me, I still drink this in the winter because it reminds me, it's my little glass of sunshine. Oh, okay, To remind like me of what, what happened in the, you That know, it will get the, better, right? Exactly, we can get yeah. through this? Yeah, okay, yeah. I like that. Yeah. And then what else do we have here? So this is, I guess, the reserve equivalent Sauvignon Blanc. It's called the Straits, and uh, it's just made in a slightly different style. It's much smaller volume, a little bit higher price, but it's more of a, it's a very, very elegant expression of Sauvignon Blanc. Speaking of elegant, we want to talk about the proper way to serve and the proper way to drink wine. I've got to be honest with you, I didn't know that there was a right or a wrong way to drink wine, but I'm learning this morning, right? So what's the proper way to serve? What do we need to know if we're having a party, if we're having people over and you kind of want to impress the guests? Well, that's right. I mean, you could, you could wrap a towel around it. You could do <laughs> yeah, the whole, yeah. whole thing. And we, we, we close our wines in screw caps, so you don't have the whole thing I know, thing that, that is but so you, nice. But you can sort of un unwind it and sort of roll it down your arm and do oh. a bit of that to oh, wow. a bit okay. of theatre. But really, it's, I guess the thing is, is you, what you want to do is just to sort of give it a bit of a half turn so that it doesn't spill. Okay. And really, other, than that, other than that, there's, there's really no kind of too many wrongs or rights. There's probably a, definitely a classic way to do sure. it. Sure. Depends on how formal you'd like to be. All right. And then yeah. what would this pair well with? You've brought some cheeses and some crackers and obviously grapes. But what would something like this pair with? Well, uh, the classic with this is, is seafood, like sushi, sashimi, you know, mm. oysters. Um, you know, we had a great time with walleye this year. You know, obviously, any yeah. seafood in a lighter dish. You know, the acidity, um, you know, I think ceviche with the, the citrus things going on with the marinated fish. And then the cheese, you want to go with a kind of a light cheese. And for people who aren't, like I said, you know, I'm not a, a wine expert. I like it, and I like a lot of different flavors. What would be your advice for people to kind of get into it? Sometimes it's a little overwhelming. You go it, to a store, and there's so many options. Yeah. And I, what would be your idea of kind of getting into it, easing your way into the, the wine world? Well, it is an amazing journey once you do start. The first thing to do is <clears throat> whenever you see somebody tasting wine, try it. Oh, okay. Because the worst thing to happen is you don't like it, uh -huh. right? But I would suggest starting with a, a lighter style white wine. Most people think, oh, hey, I'm trying wine now, like, let's go for the Cab Sav. Mm -hmm. Worst thing to do because the tannins in that can really put people off and they go, hey, I don't like wine. Oh, okay. Because in fact, if they tried, if they wanted red, if they tried a Pinot Noir, which is one of the lightest red wine styles, it's going to be much more, I guess, uh, appealing to kind them. Kind of ease them into it. Yeah, and likewise Sauvignon Blanc, there's so much flavor there. And all of a sudden, hey, I get that I smell passion fruit or grapefruit and, and they go, wow, I can get it because most, a lot of wine is, is, a, is a bit of sort of hoodoo around it and what you want to try and get, get, a, get past that and just enjoy it for what it is. If you like it, keep on drinking. If you don't, try something else. And the best part too, Nigel, you've got these little guys. Yeah. So if you don't like it, you're not out an entire bottle. I like That's that That's exactly <laughs> right. So, I mean, these are intended for like, you know, hiking and fishing and all sure. that sort of thing, tramping. Um, but what we've found is, hey, I don't want to open a whole new bottle. Let's right. just have one of these or I'd like red but my wife would like white oh, or vice versa. So you can, you, you can surf and turf it as well. I like it. They're really, really handy. So Hi, Delivery. Thank you so much. Appreciate you're it. You're welcome, Kelly. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. You've got to try it since Absolutely. you opened it, right? Yeah. Guys, back to you at the couch. All right. Thanks, Kelly.